back as we continue to unpack this pivotal study on our thoughts and how they impact everything we do. Okay, so first let's do just a quick review of the three we already looked at during our first session together. Number one, everything begins with a thought. Number two, what we think determines who we are and who we are determines what we do. And then number three was our thoughts determine our destiny, our destiny determines our legacy. So now let's unpack number four. People who go to the top think different than others. William Arthur Ward says, nothing limits achievements like small thinking. Nothing expands possibilities like unleashed thinking. So let's pause here, maybe even turn off the video, and I want you to take a quick survey of your thoughts, say for the last 24 to 48 hours. Make two columns, label one, small thinking, label two, unleashed thinking. Okay, so what did you discover about your thoughts? Which column had more in it? Well, I am confident we all want the result of expanded possibilities that comes from unleashed thinking. But are we ready to put the necessary work required to move into this? So let's be on purpose to think our way to the top. I'm telling you, it isn't crowded at the top. Plenty of elbow room to stretch out and move around there. But now at the bottom, well, it is crowded down there, elbow to elbow. You see, people at the bottom fall into the category of people who think small with limitations. However, people at the top think creatively, like creatively, which unleashes great thoughts within them. Okay, so let's go on to our last one, number five. Now, out of all the five, I think this one excites and challenges me the most. So number five says this, we can change the way we think. Paul wrote to the Philippians in Philippi when he says this, finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything is worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Then he addressed this subject in another place in Romans chapter 12, verse two, where he said this, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Hmm. So the question now has to be asked, how can we change our thinking? John Maxwell says the number one challenge to making personal changes is feelings. So all we need to do is overcome our feelings, right? Well, that in and of itself is daunting, especially when we realize there are like 27 di different types of feelings, like a few of them, like sadness, happiness, fear, anger, boredom, confusion, disgust, anticipation to just name a few. Now, before you have a thought to dismiss, overcome my feelings as no way, impossible, let's look how this is not only possible, but probable. You see, John says we need to break down the process this way. We have a major premise. I can control my thoughts. The minor premise is my feelings come from my thoughts. So the conclusion is I can control my feelings by controlling my thoughts. Well, until next time, let's remember that we all as leaders are on a quest of continually learning to first add value to ourselves. So we are always ready to add value to others. Thank you.